Cheers, my friends. Ryan here. Welcome back to the program. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe, happy, and healthy. And Super Bowl Sunday. And trust me, a little bit later on today, there may be a few suds in here other than water. I am drinking my water. It's one thing I've been lacking is my water intake. And Jen called me out on it and said, said you need to be drinking more water. So that's what I'm doing. Drinking more water and... Hope you're doing well and hope everyone's crushing their goals and getting out and killing it. And let me know in the comments below what are you trading for or what is it you got going on right now. And love to hear all about all the great stuff that you guys have go have happening. So week 11. Week 11 has come and week 11 has gone and it's been good. It's been actually been a pretty decent week. As I mentioned before in my last vlog that this week is about setting those routines to ensure that we're meeting all of our goals and i accomplished all that goals this last week uh, jen and i went up into the park into the bath and still was able to ensure the the workouts all got done in between all of that so just going to recap to everyone what this last weekend was and what this next weekend coming up will be so coming this past weekend so so monday i did uh intervals so i did ladder intervals and not too bad i i, I did them pretty well I, I was really watching what coaches trying to ask me to do for those ladder intervals and watching that pacing and making sure i'm not going out too spicy at the start and i managed to accomplish all that on those ladder intervals and that was tuesday i did a recovery run and that recovery run was about a 45 minute recovery run so it was just you know keeping those legs moving and rotating and making sure that nothing's getting seized up during the week and that was good so i was i was happy with that on uh wednesday was a strength day and again with my strength and core routines i'm really trying to watch um making sure i'm doing proper form and all that kind of stuff with my with my coach and um, so I uploaded some video for Bree to, to th my, my strength coach to take a look at. So we'll see next week if I'm doing it right or if, I, if I'm not. And, you know, it's all new to me and some of this strength routine. And that's what it is, is learning lessons as we go. So that was, that was Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, I did another um, run. So I did an aerobic run on Thursday. Just, you know, keeping it real, keeping it going. And, you know, felt pretty good out there. Weather in the area was absolutely incredible. So I had a really good run on Thursday. And then Friday was another strength day. So I did a strength day on Friday again. And, you know, just doing some things like ladder. I'm going to say ladder rolls again. That's not strength day. Strength day this week was uh, just, you know, just doing some light weight, some, you know, some stretching, um, doing some step up, step downs, that kind of thing. Just kind of making sure that I'm really hitting those muscle groups and making sure I'm activating the, the, those groups that have been powering me out at that 12, 12K mark. And it's starting to, everything's starting to flow and that, I think that's what the theme of this week has been is, is finding that flow so I had a really good um really good run on, on Thursday and then Friday was another strength day so I got that I got that strength in again on Friday and then I hit it on 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 Saturday with another long run about an hour and 10 minute long run again I'm going out a little too quickly um my coach really said to watch and take advantage of those easy mile days and that's what i really need to start doing and um, i got better i'm really watching that pacing again as i mentioned before so i got a little bit better on as i went all in all not too bad of a week as far as ensuring that i got everything done and needed to get done eating wise you know i was away a few days and you know you're on vacation eat what you want to eat that's why i just decided for this week you know i'm not, I'm not gonna you know beat myself up over having one or two meals that you know maybe not be the best choices to make but um but i actually lost a couple of pounds when i looked at, at my weight uh now that was at the start of the week so we'll have to go back uh, this week and see if that happens true or if i went back up again but i was 177.9 so that's what the scale said when i weighed myself last so that's about a two pound loss getting me closer to that goal of 165 for mississauga so that's great so i was pretty happy with that this coming week is going to be a little more challenging we're kind of 
you were up on the end, tea on everything a little bit. I was just kind of this morning going through the plan and seeing what it is the coach has got me doing. And I may be cursing a few words here this week looking at this plan coming up. So coming up, so we're, I'm doing uh, intervals again tomorrow. So here's a little uh, snip of the intervals that I'm doing uh, tomorrow. Uh, and then after intervals, again, another recovery run. Uh, and then back in the gym on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is going to be an, an, another run, and then on Friday, uh, sorry, Thursday is actually a double t uh, tempo run day. So here's a double tempo run for Thursday that I'm doing, and it's going to look like it's going to be a, a snazzy one. So we'll see how the old legs uh, wind up after that. Then back in the gym on Friday, Saturday, we got an hour and 30 minutes on the docket for my lawn run. And then back in the gym on Sunday. So that's the that's the schedule. That's the routine for my for my half marathon. It's pretty much gonna be similar throughout the weeks. And you know, and 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 the biggest thing is just not getting fatigued and, and ensuring that you know I'm, I'm firing all cylinders and just going for it and cruising and, and and like I said flow 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 making sure we're hitting those paces as we're supposed to be hitting otherwise I made a I made a commitment to my coach and if I'm not making those paces I'm doing push-ups after my long run on Saturday so hopefully the only push-ups I have to do this week are in the gym and we'll see what what uh what new uh, fun Coach Bree has for me on strength this week. I'll have to look at that plan and see what she's got for. So have yourselves a great week coming up. Get outside, crush your, those goals for yourselves, and catch one next time in the vlog. We're going to have Gord on here soon. There's some great stuff going on at the store. Gord's been busy at work on that website of his, and it's looking really, really good. I got a kind of glimpse at the website, and we're going to check in with Gord and see how that's going. He's got an event coming up, the Frozen Ass 50. We're going to chat a little bit with him about the, the, the events that he's got coming up and maybe throw in a new review to boot. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time on the vlog and keep it real.